Hi, in this video, we're going to send a mail merge with individual attachments using Microsoft Outlook 365 and a free plugin called Secure Mail Merge. Now, the first step in any mail merge is to create a spreadsheet containing the information that you'd like to send out to your customers, for example. That'll be things like first name, last name, and in our case, the files that you'd like to attach. So let's have a look at the spreadsheet I've prepared. You can see greeting, first name, last name. You can see the to column, which contains the email addresses of the people I'd like to send to. You can even see a CC column. So the plugin that we're going to use allows you to add CC email addresses and BCC if you want. You can see the flat number, which I'll use in the email body. And then the last column is the important one for this demonstration contains the file names of the files I want to attach for each recipient. You can add multiple files to a single email by separating them with the semicolon, as you can see here in the first row. Okay, let's switch over to Outlook. And the first step would be to install the plugin. For that, you click on Get Add-ins and search for Secure Mail Merge, and then hit the Add button to add. The plugin is now installed and will appear when you click on New Email. So you can just click on the icon and the plugin will start. Now, the first step is to decide if you're going to use a spreadsheet like we are, or if you want to, you can send a mail merge to people in your address book as well. But we've already created the spreadsheet, so we're going to go ahead and select that file. Now, as soon as I hit open, it's going to look at that Excel file and find the attachments column with the file names and want us to upload those files. So I'll click open, tells us the file names it's found in the sheet, and then I'm going to click on add files go to the folder where the files are, and then I'm going to control A to select all. You can do that with a mouse as well and click on open to add them to this mail merge campaign. Next step is to write the email. So I'm just going to write a very simple email. I'm going to go invoice for flat. Now I'd like to add that flat number. So I'll go and in the drop down, you're going to see all the columns that it founds in the spreadsheet. I didn't show you all of them that are in there, but you can see the flat number. And then I'm just going to write a simple email. Let's go with dear, uh, find that greeting. Let's add a space and add the last name. And then I'm just going to uh, write, please find the invoice attached. Kind of regards. Now, you can, of course, make this email as fancy as you want. Uh, you can add signatures, images are supported, anything that you can format in Outlook is uh, supported by the plugin. But the first thing you want to do is before you actually send out that mail merge is to send your email, send yourself a test email using this button. Now, it will prompt you for the account that you'd like to send us because remember, the mail merge will be sent with your Microsoft 365 account. So in this case, we're going to uh, log into that account. And then once it's sent, we will see it appear in the inbox. There we go. And you can see it's taken the first row of your Excel spreadsheet. So that's the one with the two files and replaced the greeting, the last name, as you'd expect. Now, in order to send the emails, you just click on Start Sending Campaign and you can watch the progress as it sends the emails. It has to attach the uh, file to each email and you can see that appearing at the bottom. And once it's done, it's finished. It's sent all of your emails. You can then just head over to Sent Items to see all the emails that it is sent on your behalf. And that's an easy way to create a mail merge with individual attachments.